That is fantastic. Okay, so... Path is interrupted. You should be able to... Well, it's not going to be high ground or anything. Which sucks. Make no mistake. Target outside of normal range. It's not! Eh. It is. It is. Uh, we have piercing strike that does gaping wounds, which is actually pretty important. Freaking hell, it's not piercing. It's this one. Piercing shot. That's the one. 80%. Let's go. And it does the extra damage from the hunter's quarry as well. We also have the dread ambusher. That's pretty important. Which also does extra damage. That's a miss! Oh, fucking hell. Sorry. That's not very good. Fury. I am dead. You are... D hopefully not dead is what you are. Uh, let's see. Gargantuan Cleave, let's not go with that. Lacerate would be good. Because this guy hasn't had his turn, so... Just us doing Lacerate right away... Would be perhaps really good. You bow. Oh, you that was a save on the Lacerate, but not on the damage, I don't think. It did damage. Not enough actions, but we do have the action surge. 70%. And now, we attack. Yeah. A normal attack. That's quite a lot of damage. This is going well. This is going really well. You didn't have your turn? You didn't take damage? From the gaping wounds that are gaping? Well, uh... You have no more actions now. So, that's it for you. And then... Now the, the the bad things start. Mirror image would be interesting. But it does require I think I think we're gonna need to go with that. That's uh Is that concentration? That is not concentration. So right now Oh I misclicked. I clicked C. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But we pretend that we miss. That's what happens. We did a concentration saving throw. That was a hit and a half, my god. Now this guy needs a proper hit. I don't really have many options. It. Risk being an that is it. And then we just do a hit. Now this guy's gonna take how much? Two piercing damage from the gaping wounds. And we have the witch's bolt, which comes after. And honestly, I think it's better. I'm gonna do gargantuan cleave here. <laughs> miss, miss. And off balance was. Wow, this is going really poorly. She's dazed. Yeah, it's going really poorly. Now we do this. I thought this was going to happen in a previous turn. So it didn't. It didn't really work out. And she's down. Come back. I wasn't done. Um. Yeah. No target? What do you mean, no target? Take you. She's still off balance. Yeah, this is not... This is, didn't go too well. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Uh, let's try this battle some other time, I suppose. I think, I think they just do too much damage. That's basically it, really. And we have other things around here to explore anyway. We have uh, areas that we haven't been to and things, so. Don't waste a step. So yeah, that's good. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's look at the map and see. We have quests down here. Investigate Kaga. Is the swamp down there? Yeah. And Halsin is over there. The Temple of Saloon. But I don't want to leave all of this 
Unexplored. What is that? I don't think that's an area. I don't want to leave all of this unexplored. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what we have down here. What is that? A burrow with backpack. Oh, yeah, this is the thing. A little bit of gold. It's the heavy thing, isn't it? It's the ingots. We have the elixir of heroism and the arcane cult of arcane cultivation. Gain an additional level one spell slot. That's permanent? No way. Oh, yeah. It's not permanent because it's a spell slot. Like, you get an extra spell, basically. We failed all of our perception checks. Probably more treasure. Yeah, if it's wisdom, I would say perhaps it's a tracking thing from an animal. Speaking of animals, we have the oil bear cave. We didn't go there yet. We should. Uh, but, it, but that's if it's wisdom check. If it is perception. Or actually survival, not wisdom. The survival is wisdom, but... Uh, if it's a survival, then it's a, a tracking situation. Yeah, let's try the cave. That's the only thing missing. Of, well, apart from the sirens. The let's see what, let's this, see what this does. Yeah, uh, this is the only thing missing from all the places that we've been to already. And it smelled like oil bear. It walked like oil bear. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Well... It looks like it, 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 it's, it, there's, there's bones and eviscerated goblins and pickaxes. I actually might need that. I don't need the heavy stone. Well, actually, I don't know. That stench. Did all bear prey, no doubt. The heavy stone isn't that heavy. There's a, there's a, a cave there. Not a cave, a, a temple. Oh, this is the cave. There's a, ooh, what is this? Right. A temple. A shrine, perhaps. I don't think we need to stealth. It's a lunar statue. It is stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. Yep. Wait, is this the same statue that we saw upstairs? Oh, interesting. The war between Saloon and Shar. Come on, get in here. We need arcane checks. We all failed. It's a gilded chest that looks to be pretty locked. Anyway, potion of animal speaking. Potion of healing. Scroll the tech thoughts. It's pretty good. And the war between Saloon and Shara. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddesses, Saloon and Shara, after Saloon ignited the sun and brought life sustaining light and warmth to the universe. What did Shar do? Turn off the sun? Perhaps? Or something? This thing won't yield its contents easily. Oh, it didn't do damage. Uh it will not, but how will I figure that out? We saved. Saving throw against a blast from the guild. Oh, we yeah, we can't even Interesting. Uh, we can't even, um, you know, put it in our backpack. It's relatively light, made of precious stone and covered in gold. This chest is both sturdy and pleasing to the eye. Uh, it's Of course it's pleasing to the eye. Have you seen this game? I think you can go back there. Whee! Maybe there's a way to open it. On my way. That might be worth a look. A prayer sheet. A prayer she dedicated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. Is Saloon... Is Saloon the Moon Maiden? Just an old prayer. I don't know. My character doesn't know. I don't know either. The genesis of Saloon and Shar. An ancient tome detailing how Saloon came into being along with her sister, Shar. The silver radiant Saloon and the dark alluring Shar complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Oh, that's why Saloon ignited the sun, so I assume Shar just ignited the dark. And also, she's alluring, implying that Saloon is ugly. So, I mean, uh, you know, if, if you're gonna classify two sisters as one uh, radiant and the other alluring, um, this is the radiant one, apparently. So... But again, it's as I was saying, of course it's beautiful in, in, in this game. Have you seen this game? 
Anyway, I can't open that gilded chest, and I am not sure how I would even do that. Because a knock? Saloon seal. Wait, wait, wait. It has a description here. A protective shield surrounds the chest, dealing 4... Uh, 40? It's 48... Uh, yeah, 46 is actually, of radiant damage to any heretics that touch it. Do we have followers of Saloon? Shadowheart, you're a cleric. You, should, you know this stuff. She's a cleric, but she doesn't say anything. She doesn't. She actually does. She say anything about this? All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. She does not. Um. So. Yeah. Wait. What? What was that? Shake. Oh, it was people jumping. Don't worry. Ooh, I actually. Oil bear. Oil bear. Let's be cautious. Yeah. Ooh, maybe the oil bear is saloons. Oh no, it's around. Ooh, freaking hell. There it is. Distressed? Multi-attack. When enraged, I think, or something. It's a level three beast, so it's better than the ogres. Oh! You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. I can't, yeah, yeah, stop, oh, wait, I can't, well, I'm good, I'm, 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 I'm a, a ranger, I'm gonna animal handling the oil, oil bear's behavior. We can do, right? We can't. Okay, we have inspiration. Let's do that again. It's a difficult roll, so, you know. Freaking hell, 16. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owlbear cub. It's a little oil bear. Are they smart? Are owl bears smart? Are they like dragons? Because in dark in, dar in Dungeons and Dragons, dragons usually talk, and there's the whole thing going on with them. And I'm gonna hold my. Pa uh, uh, my palms out and say I mean no harm or in significance of that even though in animal talk that means I'm trying to scare you the owlbear stares then sharply inhales your scent it sits back its eyes still fixed on you a silent ultimatum you can leave now or step closer and die hmm I was trying. I, I will do the the second one if you don't mind. I was trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Out of mind. Oh, he shouts. Albert eggshells. An unhatched one would fetch quite a price. Is that how that's gonna work? I don't mind if I do. Interesting that they're not attacking me right away. This is something. Free for the taking. Ooh. Oh. We're not in combat anymore. That's a friendly looking shadow. How do I get up there? Oh, through there. Probably impossible. My face protects me. Quite. We'll see. We'll see if it does. The mission has you actually need <laughs> Do that. Do that. Because your, your faith do, does need to protect you. So you're in the light, and that makes it kind of hard for you to roll stealth checks. That's a little bit better, but you're... That's the, yeah, it's all down to range, actually. Okay, let's get you over there. Uh, and I'm going to cast Radiant or Guiding Bolt, actually. Can I do that? To meet your it's end. injured. Okay, what about the tiny one? Because the tiny one is still the size of a small uh, bicycle. 37 health. I don't know how much damage it's going to do. It's skittish, though. We'll flee for two turns when badly hurt. Wait, maybe they're both skittish. That'd be kind of cool. No, they're not. They're not uh, skittish at all. We're... Nice and quiet now. Yeah. Uh... Oh, this is pretty good for Giladel. Actually, I don't know if it is or not, because 
Wait, you got into combat th from there? Yeah, apparently. That's just how it is. Uh, piercing shot because this is a single enemy, so I'll do that from there. To the chase. Yeah, seriously? Gaping wounds have not been cast. Could I cast Hunter's Mark before? I don't know. Are they surprised? They're not. Let's finish this. So we don't have actions? Oh, so well, Lazel does. Will I attack the cub? I don't think I should. Taking position. I don't think I should. Switch to my ranged weapon. Do a shot there. Miss, because he was 65. Can't switch? No, it doesn't matter, I don't think. Gale does have... Does have his weapon. You can attack from there. It's a save, but... Uh, it's still applied. Good. So that's your turn. That's your turn. That's your turn. That's your turn. Let's find out what we got ourselves into. That's... Bad. That's really bad. It flies. Okay, little thing is only for. It, it's not too bad actually. Uh, so we got cure wounds here. Uh, we got. Uh, we might want to get bless instead of bane, because bless would come in handy right about now. We also could just go for healing, which I kind of want to. Take cure. There we go. And that's. All for the moment. Can I? Re yeah, I can go back. Okay. Can't even catch my breath. Giladel now has the dread ambusher. I don't. Do I have advantage? No. I should be able to jump up there though, and potentially get dread ambush uh, advantage. I don't. I don't think I have advantage. It's a little bit of damage. And then we have the extra attack. Reasonable, reasonable. I will ascend. You will ascend, but it, it's gonna be tricky. You're gonna take a lot of damage in the process. Critical miss. That's a problem. Uh, I think it wouldn't be a bad thing to just take a, a normal potion there. Cause that's 1d8. Uh, oh, actually 2d4 plus two. Oh, it's not too bad. Uh, but still, yeah, that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, do an action surge. That's a little bit of damage. The gaping wounds. Wait. Does gaping wounds. Is that how gaping wounds work? Every time you get hit, you get an extra. Yeah, attacks against this creature. Uh, that's how. I thought it was just at uh, the beginning of each turn you took damage. Which is not uh, the, the one that happens. Yeah, so now you do that 100%. That was actually very little damage, only four. And oil bear. Hmm? Tiny Claws and Lazel. Um, what did you do? What was that cutscene? We're threatened? That's normal. Yeah, I don't know that anything happened. I'm just gonna cast another one of these. Oh. That was very little. That was very little. That comes easy these days. Okay. Unleash me. Nine damage. Come on, Lazel. Swift and lethal. Critical hit for one. Seriously. Time to push my luck again. I could do a flourish. If I have enough. I don't know that I can. I can. I can. Oh no, it's a bonus it's jumping. Dang it. I can't. Victory awaits. She doesn't have anything like that. We could do a shove. I'm gonna try. Too heavy to shove. Yeah, I would imagine. Victory is assured. 
And you can't do anything here either. Yelladel's immediately down. Which is better than... Honestly, it's better than, than the alternative. Let's try... I don't know that I want to bring Giladel back, honestly, at the moment, because I have this guaranteed attack. Cup looks from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. I'm gonna let the creature leave, live. Also. I think it's because she's the f closest one, that she's the main character. Look at that. Yeah. Cut. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. The cub has a fighting chance now. That, well, we've just prolonged its misery. Yep. Um, There's no time to waste. What was that? <coughs> get up, get up, Giladel. You can, you can get up, right? What was that? Um, we might be able to get an owl cub, uh, owl bear cub. That would be interesting. What was that thing? This, these aren't. Is that blood? Th that's a lot of blood. It is. Oh, no, this is a lot of blood. Uh, these aren't wolves. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Can I talk about it? Fine. What's on your mind? No. What? Okay. Well, I guess. I guess that's that. Um. So. We on the upside, well, actually, I want to see. There was somebody that had, like, minus, uh, like a huge party gained experience. I saw, um, a pop up saying minus, uh, sympathy or empathy. It might be the owlbear itself. Head of a broken spear. In, with an eye. Yeah, I'll take that. Wait, is it very heavy? Yeah, it's kind of heavy. Um, okay. Well, I, that's that happened. I want to talk to the owlbear. Oblivious to your presence, the cub continues to gorge himself on his dead mother. But I can't cast... Can't do much. My animal handling... There's no animal handling actions or anything. Time to press ahead. So let's press ahead. Some pork loins. The owl bear egg. An owl egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. And the uh, the headless skeleton. The oak father's embrace. Undead creatures that hit the wearer receive one d six radiant damage. It is a medium armor class three. Uh, she has heavy armor though. Lazel. And also, her armor is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, is it heavy? It's medium. No, it is, it is really good, actually. So nobody uses this. That's kind of a shame. Armor class bonus is limited to plus two, but that's normal. Her armor is fantastic. No time to rest. Let's move around and... Slow down. A short oh, sword. We should just do a short rest here. Patched up. Pushing on. And move on. We got supply packs. Pretty good. And yeah, attacking from up here might have been good if the owlbear didn't actually fly. Oh, also there's a, a stalactite there. Um, but unfortunately it flies. Which you, you'd perhaps expect of something called, uh, called an owl something. I didn't think about it. I didn't I didn't think about that particular implication. This just keeps going. Curious. Arrow of darkness. Spread magical darkness on impact. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Acid vial is also pretty interesting. 
Yeah, if we had gotten up here, things could have worked a little bit easier for us. It's fine. It, it worked out all right. And that's it for... Yeah, we weren't here before. That's it for this dungeon. Now we're wet. What a terrible encounter. Well, it, w it was easy. It was level 3. It was... Ob I think... I think it was the intended difficulty. We obviously didn't optimize our engagement, but, you know, it's fun. It's the first time we did it. So, let's go elsewhere? Where to, though? So, this... We still have Saloon's chest in there. Uh, yeah, let's just go back to where we were and explore back there. You know absolutely nothing, you idiot. Oh. Hello? Drop the act. I can't zoom in in there. There's a mage? Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Marina. Stop this. We, we won't ask again. I could tell she was lying without my inside check. Thank you very much, GM. Actually, well, it's just a... It's, it, it's just that... She's playing on the trope of the little old lady. So yeah, you're lying. You have seen this girl. Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. How? Bloody hells. She just disappeared. What? I ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hug has Rina. That's dangerous. Will someone please tell me what's going on? It's our sister, Marina. She's, well, she was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Hags are dangerous. Wait, does he mean that hag as in the literal creature that are hags, I think? Like RPs and stuff? Hags are dangerous and natural things. Even this place feels warped and twisted. I don't remember bloody asking you. Hold on, Joel. Let her talk. What would you suggest? Punching your mate in the face? One, the first thing? But no. Trust the more experienced soul. I'll find your sister. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel. Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now come on. Sure. If you want to die, you want to die. It's fine. It's not my call. Um, but uh, it looks like... Yeah, I, I couldn't see I couldn't see the, uh, the animation. I think we might have been able to see the animation if we had the camera uh, in this direction. But that was weird. She's a spellcaster. What's this? What's this little thing? It's just a little... Oh, it's a, it's a wall. It's a wall. So, about that quest. Save Mayrina. After Auntie Ethel, and if you've forgotten who Auntie Ethel is, she's the lady that uh, sells potions in the, the the camp that we were in. The true brother, the true brothers, said that their sister Mayrina is being held against her will at Ethel's house. Okay. So, do we go back? I think we do. Also, I need to talk to. Um, Zevlor. I don't think I talked to Zevlor. I think that there's a passage there. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to the encampment. Man, it's so easy to miss things in this game. She's awesome. First, for one, 
For one, you absolutely will miss things because the game has branching paths and things that only happen with certain conditions are met and whatnot. Uh, but it, like, even if you're just playing normally, you'll miss quests and things that are that were there for you, available to you. But yeah, it depends on how how pedantic you are. Uh, well, not pedantic. Pedantic is not the word. Thorough. You are. Thorough is the word. And we're back. The other good thing of coming back is that we're going to be able to offload some of the crap that we have accrued. There it is. Sylvanas be with you. Mm-hmm. Now. Where is the old lady? Hell's take me. What I wouldn't do for better tools. She was here. She was here, but she's not anymore. Oh, that's bad. I have no idea where she lives. I mean, I guess we'll figure it out, right? Hmm. You've had your share. Leave some for the rest. She's the best old lady. Shame that she's not here, but we'll find her house. I'm not too worried about it. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Right! Also, I... Oh, apparently he's not the person responsible for um, the special weapons. That's unfortunate. 